today we're in Graz, the perfume capital of the world. And since Anya and I know this place extremely well, we've chosen our own personal top 10 that we're going to show you right now. So let's dive in. Graz lies nestled at the foot of the Sea Alps, with an easy reach by train or bus from the coastal towns such as Nice, Antibes or Cannes. By car, it's a 45-minute drive from Nice, though journey times may vary depending on traffic. A visit to Grasse is incomplete without delving into its rich perfume history. The development of the perfume industry right here in the south of France goes back to Grasse being a city of leather tanners in the Middle Ages. To mask the pungent odor of the leather, a clever local tanner concocted scented gloves which swiftly became a fashion accessory at the French court and among the upper class. Leveraging the region's plentiful springs and an abundance of aromatic flowers like lavender, roses and jasmine, Grasse's tanners transitioned into perfumers. To get an idea of perfume production then and now, please do us a favor and take a guided tour at one of the three major local perfumeries, Molinard, Gallimard, or Fragonard. It is quick, informative, available in multiple languages, and best of all, it's free. We're opting for Fragonard because its historic factory is conveniently located right next to the old town. Plus, you'll come across this name everywhere in Grasse. It's a family-owned business. Today, the fourth generation is at the head of the company. They are three women. The name Fragonard, he was an important painter born in the city. That's why we use that name. So how does the fragrance of a beautiful flower transform into an essential oil and end up in a bottle? Before we find out, we're asked to guess what we're smelling. And strangely, it's a tough task. Maybe the semi-automatic bottling line next to us, which is not for show but fully operational, is a tad distracting. Then we learn about steam distillation in these copper stills to extract essential oils. Employed since antiquity, it remains a major technique in traditional perfume making. And then there used to be hot and cold enfleurage, techniques using hot and cold fats to capture the delicate fragrance. It takes millions of flowers to obtain just one kilo of scented fat. In this room, perfume concentrates are blended with alcohol and left to macerate for several weeks before being filtered. A perfume contains more raw materials compared to cheaper options like eau de parfum or eau de toilette. And finally, this is where perfumers, or noses, create their fragrances at what's known as a perfume organ. Our tour ends with a visit to the store, where you'll find every possible product of this company on display. Happy sniffing! And be sure not to miss this beautiful view from the boutique windows. Taking a stroll through the old town of Grasse is like stepping back in time. You'll feel transported to the Middle Ages as you meander through the narrow alleyways, glancing up at the most ancient building dating back to the 11th century. While this is the impressive boulevard leading through Grasse with its renowned theater, we recommend focusing on the pedestrian part, the very heart of the town. When exiting the Fragona perfume factory, you'll stumble upon the entrance to the old town. And if you follow the alleys highlighted in yellow, you'll discover the most important landmarks within 45 minutes. Keep an eye out for small golden plaques on the ground. They'll guide you along the right path. So head towards Place aux Airs with its arcades and numerous restaurants. Then take a ride and find your way through the maze of narrow lanes flanked by tall buildings until you reach the cathedral next to the town hall. Notre Dame du Puy dates back to the mid 13th century, featuring a simple facade and an equally plain interior, although it does house several artifacts some of which are listed as historic monuments. For instance, the three Baroque paintings attributed to the Flemish Peter Paul Rubens and his school, Christ crowned with thorns, the crucifixion and St. Helena. While Grasse boasts some of the most beautiful corners, 
be prepared to also encounter less flattering places and rather empty areas. The city struggles with being left deserted by tourists in winter, posing challenges for local businesses to survive. I might be biased because Grasse is my adopted hometown, but I adore its unique charm. A tart beauty adorned with patina, far from the glitz and glamour of some of the coastal towns. Just visit on a sunny day and everything will look just fine. Now, if you don't feel like walking, you could always hop aboard the little tourist train and explore the old town rolling, from April to October, that is. While squeezing through the narrow alleys, you'll also learn many interesting facts about Gras. As always, you'll find more information like prices and exact locations in the description below the video. The train starts opposite the old town. Simply climb the stairs to Cours Honoré Crespe and you'll need cash to pay. By the way, the pink umbrellas that decorate the old town during the summer will be installed for the Rose Festival at the beginning of May. As you've gathered by now, Grasse is all about perfume. If you're interested in a deeper dive into the history of fragrances, we suggest visiting the International Perfume Museum, which again is situated at the edge of the old town. The architecture is striking, while the museum offers an interactive journey through the world of perfume from antiquity to today. There's even a little rooftop garden with aromatic plants for you to explore. Then start your voyage through time from past to present by descending from the top floor of the building, moving through various levels down to the museum shop and exit at the bottom. The Egyptians, who used aromatic compounds for embalming, mastered the technique of capturing fragrances in fat, making them the earliest perfumers in human history. You'll wander through the pretty garden before stepping into the modern era, the time of Dior, Chanel and similar icons. Dining out in Grasse can be a bit challenging. For a pleasant meal under the sun or in the shade, we recommend securing a table at Place aux Airs. You'll also find options for a quick snack to go in the old town, including treats for those with a sweet tooth or for those seeking healthier alternatives. If you are into fine dining, there's a notable spot in Grasse just three kilometers from the old town, La Bastide Saint-Antoine. Beyond its amazing setting, you can expect exquisitely prepared and delicious cuisine. As mentioned before, Grasse is located in the green hinterland. To fully enjoy the views it offers, let's discover three great lookout spots. Number one is at Cour Honoré Crespe, the square that hosts a market on Wednesday mornings and where the tourist office is located just opposite. Savor the view across the wooded landscape, stretching all the way to the sea. The second lookout spot is located behind the town hall and cathedral. Simply look for the large gap between the houses and let your gaze wander. Spot number three leads you to the very eastern end of the old town, offering a view of Grasse's countryside. Time for a bit more on perfume. In recent years, major brands like Chanel and Dior have returned to Grasse, recognizing it as the cradle of perfumery. Some, like LVMH, do it kind of secretly, with no access for the public to their Fontaine Parfumée, which houses the Louis Vuitton Olfactory Laboratory, located just behind the old town. Lancôme, on the other hand, who recently acquired the Domaine de la Rose outside the old town, welcomes visitors once a month. Before entering the stunning pale pink building, visitors are guided through the extensive gardens facing south. Time to step into the pink universe, where each angle is more stunning than the last, and large windows offer views of the sprawling garden. There's a full perfume organ inside the building, used by Lancôme's perfumer for inspiration. When you're ready for a little break, how about having coffee or a glass of rosé at one of the cafes scattered throughout the old town? One of our new favorite spots is this one, that we'll tell you more about in a minute, while we decide on a quick stop at another charming location, the Café des Musées, next to the Perfume Museum. Whether you choose to sit outdoors or indoors, 
This quaint and stylish cafe offers drinks and a selection of simple lunch dishes, along with typical desserts, ranging from fruit tarts to a café gourmand with macarons and an espresso. If you're looking for souvenirs to take home, there are many tiny boutiques lining the alleys of the old town that are likely to catch your eye as you explore. Never be too sure to still find the same ones if you haven't been in Grasse for a while, but some of the consistent ones are those that belong to the Fragonard Empire. In addition, you'll find art galleries, clothing stores, and spots for sweet souvenirs like Confiserie Florian or the chocolate shop Maison du Planteur. Our favorite new discovery is Place Morel, located just above the recently opened award-winning media center Charles Nègre, which is also worth seeing from the inside. Tourists don't necessarily find their way to the square in the eastern part of the old town, so expect to be among locals who enjoy taking their lunch on the sunny steps or letting their children play on Saturday afternoons. This is also where you'll find the little green cafe that we mentioned earlier and a neighboring restaurant. Our final tips for today will take you beyond Grasse, as it's actually an ideal starting point to explore the magnificent hinterland further. Take the stunning Route Napoléon, which winds through impressive mountains, and within an hour you'll reach the famous Gorge du Verdon Canyon. Or set out to discover charming little villages like Gourdon, Cabris, or Tourette sur Loup. To conclude, here's a list of the most important festivals in Grasse throughout the year. Maybe you'll be around for one of them. We really hope that you enjoyed the video. And we have lots more top 10 videos. Check out our playlist, French Riviera Highlights.